वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन डिजाइन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम नोइंग दैट द ग्रेड ऑफ टिम्बर बीम यूज हैज एन अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्वेल्व मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम ए सी वेयर देर इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ एटीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर और द लेंथ ऑफ वन पॉइंट टू मीटर द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ दिस बीम इज 2.4 मीटर एंड द क्रॉस सेक्शन दैट इज शोन ओवर हेयर हैविंग ब्रेड इज 125 मिलीमीटर mm, हाइट इज नॉट नोन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस हाइट एंड द ग्रेड ऑफ टिम्बर हैविंग अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेल्व मेगा पासकल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो एज वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस आर अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डिवाइड बाई सेक्शन मॉडुलस एंड सेक्शन मॉडुलस फॉर दिस रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर सिक्स बी एच स्क्वेयर सो वी डू नॉट हैव मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट वी हैव अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड दिस मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट बाई यूजिंग शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम सो इफ वी रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट ए सो there will be a reaction force which is represented as a and there will be a bending moment which is uh, ma external moment this is ma so we will find this reaction force ma and reaction moment at point a by using equilibrium condition so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force taken upward as positive so you can see we have two forces one is this a and other one is this distributed load which when converted into point load so it will be 18 into 1.2 so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write a minus 18 into 1.2 is equal to 0 so from here you will get a is equal to 21.6 kilo Newton. Now you can find the moment about point A. Moment about point A as well. So how you will find that? So you will apply the sum of all moments about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So you have a reaction moment which is M A that is counterclockwise. So it will be positive here, and the other moment is due to this point distributed load which when convert into point load so it will be 18 into 1.2 and perpendicular distance now will be 1.8 okay so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write uh, m about point a is equal to 0 uh, sorry m about point a which is plus minus this load when converted into point load so it will be equal to 18 into 1.2 and this perpendicular distance is 1.8 meter so 18 multiply by 1.2 into 1.8 that is equal to 0 so from here you will get moment about point a is equal to 38.88 kilo newton now you can see that uh, we have this moment so we will move toward drawing shear force and bending moment diagram so for that you have to take the vertical axis uh, vertical line from the end of this beam and there is horizontal line and this x will be in meter while this shear force will be in kilo newton so this is your point a so again you can check over here at point a we have 21.6 kilo newton so let this each division is 10 so this is 20 this is 10 kilo newton so 20.1 will be somewhere here so moving from point a to b there is no other shear force so this will remain 
सेम इट विल बी हॉरिजेंटल टिल पॉइंट बी ओके नाउ दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स किलो न्यूटन नाउ यू कैन सी यू हैव अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड फ्रॉम बी टू सी एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड विच वैन कन्वर्टेड विल बी एटीन इन टू वन पॉइंट टू क्लियर एंड दिस इज डाउनवर्ड सो दिस वी हैव द लोड शेयर फोर्स ओवर हेयर विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस एटीन इन टू वन पॉइंट टू and that will be again equal to 0 so the as the load is a horizontal load with 0 degree so shear force will be 1 degree higher and slope will be decreasing so this is your this will be your b point okay so this is your shear force now we will draw the bending moment so again you can see you have x in meter Movement that will be equal to in kilo newton into meter. So let each division is of fifteen uh, uh, kilo newton. So it will be thirty. It will be forty five minus. Okay. Now we have a movement at point A is thirty eight. It is positive. You can see over here. This is. counter clockwise so whenever you have external movement that is counter clockwise so while representing it on movement diagram so it will uh, the 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 movement will go downward it will be toward negative so we will plot 38 point so let 38 point is this one this is let this is minus 38 point 8 so first point is this one so this is movement about point a i will use black color so that it may visible so first point is this one now area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to 21.6 multiplied by 1.2 and that will give you uh this value will give you 25.92 so minus 38.8 plus 25. Nine two will give you minus twelve point nine six at point B. So this is your point B. Clear twenty five point nine six. Ah twenty five point nine six. Ah sorry, twelve point nine six minus twelve point nine six. So let this point is this one. This is minus twelve point nine six. I will. Also calculate it, and we'll show you now. You can see this is a this uh, shear force is a horizontal line, so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because this is a positive area. So we will represent these two lines as a straight line. Now we have this area, and you can see this area is triangular, so it will be one over two into twenty one point six into this distance which is 1.2 and that will give you plus 12.96 so minus 12.96 plus 12.96 will bring it to zero so your point movement over here will be this one and you can see that uh, this uh, uh, shear force is a 1 degree line and slope is decreasing so bending moment will be a curve and that will be in clockwise direction so you will get it like this okay now we will uh, uh, we will i will also show you uh, let me write it shear diagram you can see that v at point a is equal to vb and that is 21.6 kilo newton you can see that here v at point a is equal to v at point b which is 21.6 now what about uh, v at point c v at c here you can see it is zero how so v at c is equal to this 21.6 minus this 18 into 1.2 
and that is equal to zero and similarly area under the area of shear diagram shear diagram so first area you can see was this area which is 21.6 into 1.2 so that is 21.6 into 1.2 and that will give you 25.92 kilonewton into meter so from this is from a to b now area from b to c that is triangular area this area and this area is equal to 1 over 2 into 21.6 multiplied by 1.2 and that will be equal to plus 12.96 kilonewton into meter now movement at point a was um, 38.8 minus because that will go downward 38.8 kilonewton into meter so movement about a uh, movement at point b is equal to this movement at point b is equal to movement at point a and this area under the shear force diagram which is uh, this one 25 so i will write minus 38.8 plus 25.92 will give you minus 12.96 kilonewton into meter now movement about point c this point this is the which is zero that is equal to movement at point b which is minus 12.96 plus the area under the shear force diagram and this uh, movement will be and this is the area under which is plus 12.96 and that is equal to zero now you can check from this uh, uh, from bending movement diagram the maximum absolute value of bending moment which is 38.8 this value okay you can see from here that is minus 38.8 kilonewton into meter so we are taking the absolute value so maximum bending moment is equal to 38.8 the negative sign only just tell you about the rotation whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise now you have this we know that a liable stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by section modulus and section modulus is again we have written over here that is 1 over 6 bh square so from here you will get s is equal to a liable uh, sorry s is uh, section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable bending stress so you can just put the value 38.8 into 10 is to power 3 unit will be newton into meter divided by allowable bending stress which is 12 mega pascal so 12 into 10 is to power 6 pascal so when you solve this you will get s is equal to 3 to 4 0 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter or in millimeter s is equal to 3 4 3 to 4 0 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter now you have this s and we know that s is equal to 1 over 6 b into h square is equal to 3 2 4 0 into 10 to the power 3 so we are interested to find out h so h square is equal to 6 time 3 2 4 0 into 10 to the power 3 divided by b and b is 125 millimeter you can check it this will be in cubic millimeter b is 125 
okay this is the value of b now you can just put the value h is equal to under the root 6 times 3 to 4 0 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 125 so when you calculate you will get this h is equal to 394 millimeter so this is the answer of our this question 5.66 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.